Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I think we have a great trading week ahead of us after the G20 meetings is done now, the meeting between uh, Trump and President Xi is done. We have another meeting between um, President Trump and Chairman uh, Kim Jong-un also to be held today. Uh, we had the um, meeting between uh, Putin and Saudi Arabia and um, talking about extending the oil cut uh, further along so there is lots of event that happened during this week and that will affect our trading week next week so um, yeah guys let's uh, hit the chart and uh, while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you there So welcome back guys. Well, the biggest event of the weekend is of course uh, this, that uh, Trump uh, saying that China trade talk back on track after the meeting with uh, President Xi and uh, there is all the new tariff uh, are on hold. So it seems like we are restarting uh, the talks and uh, that would uh, probably add uh, much uh, uh, more uh, positiveness to the markets but hold your horses this is not a done deal yet and this will not change many things more than uh, starting talks again that is always a good thing so after that we got uh, <laughs> this that China warns of long road ahead of deal with the US after ice breaking talks okay so there is no done deal yet uh, the Fed may not be um, as fast on cutting rates now so the market was expecting faster pace of cutting so this um, good news now maybe is bad news for those who are uh, waiting for um, the Fed to uh, start cutting aggressively so uh, keep on uh, keep that in mind uh, we have also um, that uh, Russia completes its OPEC takeover deal with the deal with Saudi. So, well, the most important thing was they um, that they did uh, accept uh, to prolong the uh, oil cut production. So that is what we 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 uh, could see from uh, this uh, meeting and uh, the event who's. Uh, which left for today is uh, that Trump to meet with uh, Kim. So that is also um, a great important uh, event and that will all this uh, happening here showing that the safe haven uh, flight may be uh, get a little bit uh, slower for the next week. So uh, you will not see maybe gold uh, keep pushing higher and you may start seeing gold moving to the downside as well, for example. Um, and we do have uh, some major event next week to keep an eye at. We have the uh, manufacturing PMI from uh, China. It's going to be an important one. On Monday, we got already the uh, this uh, PMI 49.4, a little bit lower than expected. We have the cash rate um, from uh, the Aussie, which is expected to be a cut. And the most important thing is to uh, read the statement and listen to uh, Governor uh, Lowy to, when he speaks to see if it's going to be a, um, a dovish uh, cut or hawkish cut. But in any case, uh, this uh, good news from uh, US China talk is um, going to add some more uh, bullishness to the Aussie. Um, also to keep an eye at uh, is of course the um, the NFB on Friday uh, for the US dollar and uh, employment and unemployment rate for the CAD. So uh, yeah, if we could take a look at the chart, what we have on the Dixie for now is that uh, ABCD completion pattern almost done here. Um, I was expecting to uh, see a tag of this low before on a possible short term reversal and continuation. Um, we didn't get uh, uh, the the tag of the lows. Um, we bounced a little bit higher, but also uh, the Dixie failed to make. Um, 
um, uh, a close above monthly S2 and uh, as you see the, the candles here not uh, big of momentum candles and uh, well with all that was um, what happened during this week and the market was a nervous market and we could see that in both uh, forex stocks and almost everywhere that the market was not moving much awaiting uh, this um, G20 event um, during this week and so uh, technically we still have a possibility for the dollar to continue to the downside and uh, the level is still the same you should keep an eye on this area as a uh, key level of uh, support for the dollar so if uh, we uh, reach this level once again uh, next week want to expect a possible bounce from this area for more downside the dollar need to break below this level and hold below it to open the way uh, back down toward um, further downside around the 9515 area is uh, very possible yeah so if we go back to the daily you see it more clearly keep an eye on this level any breach and close below that we are gonna uh, see the price moving toward 9515 which is another area uh, down here of uh, possible uh, support uh, to keep an eye at yeah and uh, it was also acting as good resistance uh, previously uh, here uh, oil may now get some good um, <laughs> bullish moves uh, but I think it is uh, even though we've got this um, uh, meeting between uh, the Russian and Saudis um, that could be a, a short term um, a bounce to the upside in any case we have a key level on uh, oil and uh, as I mentioned last week uh, in this uh, idea here that um, there is a possibility for a reversal here for many reasons yeah so as a technical level it is still a great level we have a previous structure resistance 618 fibonacci retracement monthly r1 at this level uh, bearish uh, hidden bearish divergence uh, on the daily uh, rsi so um, yeah the idea here as a technical level is still very uh, valid on the daily time frame we see the uh, RSI uh, at the overbought already and uh, that diverge, uh, hidden bearish diversion is still very very clear on this uh, market so I really do like the uh, technical level here we have also um, a uh, evening star formation on the daily candles as you see with a confirmation uh, bearish engulfing candle closing below so uh, the question is um, how bullish uh, will uh, this um, uh, meeting between uh, Putin and uh, Saudi gonna be for oil and if the stock market really gonna start rallying now after that uh, good news I say it again it was good news but it is not a done deal in any case uh, though um, despite the fundamentals we have I still uh, see this uh, level as an important area and for oil to keep pushing higher it really need to break above and hold above this level here for more upside otherwise the idea is still valid for uh, maybe if we get a flag here for another deeper correction toward this area yeah so that is mainly why, why I'm looking for at least a correction back down toward this level um, of structure down here we had this nice range uh, down here that we broke and we uh, didn't retest so keep an eye on that there we have 618 that could be also a good level for one again once again try to look for a possible bounce yeah so this idea is still uh, valid and ongoing now gold um, we had a break of this trend line we had another uh, attempt to um, maybe to tag the highs or break to new high and uh, it failed with a lower high so there is a possibility now that uh, gold um, may give you that deeper correction especially after uh, the 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 risk uh, sentiment uh, gonna totally be different uh, next week after 
the G20 meeting and uh, that the market may be gonna feel some relief about the uh, trade war so uh, expecting uh, uh, gold to uh, maybe keep pushing uh, lower to the downside there could be uh, a gap on the open as well to the downside in any case uh, if there gonna be some gap like this try to look for uh, sell rallies at least toward uh, this level here and um, there is a possibility for a further down movement on gold if we look on the daily time frame i'm expecting it to reach uh, this level actually down here before some possible uh, bounce back to the upside from this area uh, so that is very possible now so keep an eye on that structure um, euro usd uh, also uh, last week uh, was failing momentum and going sideways uh, same reason I, I think uh, the G20 meetings and uh, all that um, going on so we broke this ascending wedge and moved to a lower range any break below this lower range that will signal a deeper correction on the euro yeah uh, this previous high is still the key level here for this market uh, for uh, a continuation to the upside we need a break above and close above this high on the daily time frame uh, for more upside so um, as you see very uh, boring market last week especially the last three days nothing been happening we've been going sideways and in my opinion a possible retracement to the 50 percent fibonacci is uh, very possible here before uh, any kind of bounce higher uh, keep in mind we have a higher low and uh, we had a higher high here another higher high so keep watching for the next higher low if it's gonna comes at this level yeah Sterling USD uh, broke uh, this um, short term uh, trend line last, last week with a uh, nice uh, bearish engulfing candle uh, at this uh, previous uh, structure level here. It is an important area. So we broke that, but there was no momentum uh, and continuation to the downside uh, toward the 1.26, which is, which is a key level. So as for now, if uh, you want to uh, keep following this move to the downside, you really want to see a, a break below the uh, structure level here below this double bottom to then look for that next leg to the downside otherwise this is uh, this gonna keep acting support here and uh, maybe uh, a bounce from this level is also possible so keep an eye on this because there is a possibility that if we test this area to act as support for another bounce to the upside toward this structure yeah uh, i do like the uh, the way of uh, how this looks because uh, we have a clear structure here now possible uh, shoulder head shoulder scenario and a break above the neckline here will surely open the door for more upside on this market toward maybe monthly r1 so those are the levels you need to keep an eye at for next week either a break below this or a break above uh, this structure here um, and that is always uh, much easier when you have such a defined levels on on, on a uh, market usd jp uh, been uh, weak for a while uh, trending to the downside correction trend correction trend cor uh, and another correction and trend continuation well now after this uh, event uh, on in the weekend there is a possibility that uh, there is no not, not not much interest for uh, safe haven currency as the 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 Jappy and uh, maybe the chief as well possibility if the stock market to start moving a little bit higher on this event there is also a possibility for this market also to uh, correct uh, and continue correcting to the upside so as for now we broke uh, shortly below this trend line but again this is the same scenario here as we had on uh, the sterling this could be your um, major higher low on the four hour time frame any break above this will signal a continuation to the upside yeah keep an eye on this structure level uh, for more downside 
bears need to break below this to, uh, to try and attempt uh, and move lower toward uh, this area again so uh, also an easy structure here any break below here there is not much left uh, uh, to hold it unless uh, we reach this level down here and uh, there is a possibility that we see a gap open uh, to the upside on uh, this market um, tonight and if that is the case and the price hold above this level you need to look for a continuation to the upside on this market usd chief same scenario also a very bearish market strongly trending to the downside now but we did reach a key support level that i um, mentioned in our trading room and we've got a nice bounce from that level but there was no uh, continuation to the upside so what what happened here was a uh, push up a retracement toward the 38.2 of this uh, leg here to then uh, start rebirth uh, reversing back down uh, back down but again after um, uh, the weekend events there is um, a possibility that uh, the safe haven uh, flight to uh, currencies as uh, chief and jappy um, is not as interesting as before and you may start seeing this uh, move to the upside a deeper correction at least a short term deeper correction until the talks really start happening and we start uh, seeing how how much of a trouble they have it gonna be a long way and i don't think this uh, will just keep uh, pushing to the upside we're gonna start seeing uh, some of uh, the trouble uh, in the talks and that's why we may just see a short term now uh, move around uh, toward the 50% uh, retracement uh, monthly s2 and this uh, key structure level uh, is uh, a very possible scenario for next week so uh, next week happy sentiment uh, very uh, much of uh, uh, short term sentiment and um, there is a possibility that this is our first higher low on the four hour time frame and that is uh, maybe a reason for a continuation to the upside on this market in any case um, if we see any break on the daily time frame below this structure that will open the door for the next uh, major uh, structure level which is down here in this area uh, but um, i'm not expecting that for next week usd cad also um, a very interesting market now after breaking uh, these uh, lows here um, and testing a key structure level again so we have uh, this uh, previous swing low if you look at it like this this was the major swing low we had in this market and now we are testing that once again as far as this holding as support there is a possibility for a retracement or a correction back toward this structure around the monthly s2 on this market that is what i'm looking for first for next week uh, especially if uh, the dollar get some um, uh, strength after that um, meeting between uh, Trump and G so uh, keep an eye on this structure this is gonna be the key level uh, for this market any break and close on the daily time frame below this will uh, continue this move now on the longer time frame i still think this market is um, now outside of this uh, correction channel and the bigger trade is still to happen all the way down here but that is a longer uh, term move and uh, some correction to the upside are very possible so keep looking for something like this but for next week i'm expecting some kind of correction to the upside to then start looking for the possible continuation for the longer term move aussie may also get some uh, nice continuation now after uh, those good news uh, any good news for china is uh, good news for aussie so uh, the market maybe did already price in those good news let's not forget we do have the um, uh, official uh, cash rate uh, also on uh, tuesday for the aussie and um, 
that the market may be already pricing in those um, the the outcome of the meeting between uh, Trump and Xi. So keep an eye on where the market is testing right now. That is already a key structure level that just slightly the market did close on the daily at that level already, and uh, we do have RSI at the um, at the uh, overbought uh, territory and um, i think we have the 200 moving average just above that maybe where is my move here we go uh, the moving average uh, the 200 moving average sorry still have some room to get tested as you see been acting very nice uh, dynamic resistance so there is a possible market objective to that to tag this uh, trend line and the 200 moving average if that is the case that will signal a break above the neckline and um, if that is the case, uh, there is a possibility for a continuation move. So as you see on the four hour time frame, um, we are testing this pretty interesting level of uh, support and resistance at this neckline right now. Um, as I have uh, been at the overbought for a while now on this uh, time frame. So the question is if, we, if we're not going to get some kind of um, gap to the upside now on those news to then reach this level and start moving back down before that continuation happens so this is also a possible scenario that you see a gap up reach that uh, this trend line and the 200 moving average to then maybe start seeing the next bounce to the downside in any case this to be considered a resistance let's say we do not have a gap or anything like that on uh, on the open then uh, if this uh, trend line got broken that will open the door for maybe a correction back down toward uh, the monthly pivot point or probably deeper before any continuation so <coughs> those are the key levels to keep an eye at New Zealand on the other hand um, <coughs> that broke already this trend line so this been a market that uh, moving uh, as a leader and uh, Aussie is following so on uh, New Zealand USD, we have already the break above uh, the neckline. We uh, testing and uh, closed the daily above the 200 moving average. So this is uh, really a um, <clears throat> nice reversal here. Uh, expectation here is to wait for uh, that correction uh, back down buy the dips start buying the dips since now we broke a key structure level and I think uh, a move back toward the yearly pivot point up here is uh, very possible on uh, on this market I do like that uh, we broke this level and we're gonna keep an eye on this both uh, trend line and the broken structure yeah the same as we had here so as soon as we broke uh, above this structure here and uh, this area i was telling uh, the guys in my room and girls <laughs> to uh, start looking to buy either this bounce from this level or a bounce from the trend line and the bounce from the trend line and this structure was a perfect uh, touch and continuation as you see so um, yeah start looking for some correction we need to see a correction before a buy because it is re already um, an extended move this one here and uh, some kind of correction would be great before uh, that continuation uh, to happen so yeah guys that was it thanks a lot and um, see you next sunday bye bye